Hi guys, if you are like me and like to jump through a lot of apps pretty quickly, a fast app switching solution is pretty crucial and that's why I want to show you six different methods today. So let's get started. The first app switching solution I want to show you is actually the closest one to stock, but I still think that it's better. It is called Slim Reasons and it is a custom ROM solution, so you will need a custom ROM for this. Maybe it will come as an exposed module, who knows. You have following options. Show on the left edge, you can change the size from 185 to 70% and you have the expanded mode with auto, always and never. And what recent apps is, I can show you this real quick. Just hit your recent apps button and this is Slim Reasons. Expanded mode would be this, so we have this preview like on the usual stock recent apps. What you also get is long press and you get the options for App Info or Play Store. And if you want to get rid of an app, just swipe it away like on the stock recent. I think this is better because you have more apps quickly available. So in overall, I think this is definitely better in stock, but of course there are a lot of different other options I will show you. The second app switching solution actually originated from a custom room as well, from Omni as you can see. It also is called Omni Switch, but it is available as a standalone app right now. And let's go quickly through the settings. You have start on boot, you can animate, you can change the icon size. What is unique here, you have icon packs available, you can use them like on the launchers. Change the opacity, dim the background, you can change the gravity from center and drag handle side show memory usage, show the app name, you can change a few buttons like kill apps, switch to last app home settings and the app draw, position and the size can be changed, you can change the color from the drag handle as you can see it is available here, mine is of course transparent so I don't see it, auto hide and you can manage the favorites which I could show you but I, I don't think it's really necessary just to show you for the app switching, it is handled just by a swipe and here you have your last recent apps and the buttons. So as you can see it is working pretty quick. You can jump through the apps pretty fast. No problem at all. I think that's actually a pretty nice and fast solution. I would even say it is almost the fastest solution because as you can see it acts very fast. The only thing I would maybe complain about as you can see if I use the finger and scroll to the side it works fast but if I want to make it fast, you can see it stops and sometimes even stutters a bit. If this would have been different, like a usual scrolling, then would have been really a great solution. But what is also really great, you have the last app option. And that's a pretty nice thing. So in overall, this is definitely a pretty simple but very effective solution. So if you want to try that, it is called OmniSwitch. So let's get to the next ones. The next four solutions are actually just one app, but you have four different styles available. It is called Switcher and it's pretty popular, but today it got one new style and I will get through the, all the other ones pretty quickly. You have Flow, just select that one real quick. So what Flow does, here is my trigger, so you can see, and now you just have to flow to the side, let go, and you hit to the app. So you can see it works pretty good. It's not my preferred version because it's a bit cumbersome to hit the exact item and if you can see now I am at the edge and I can't access this one anymore because I can't, because I can't swipe. So this is a small drawback. But this is the one solution. Let's check the other ones. Like I said, this was called Flow. Let's get to Slide. Slide at the first moment as you can see, it looks pretty much like the recent apps from Slim, just with an opened. I don't have any app names, but I could show you these. As you can see here, now you have them and you just have to hit it. It is pretty much the same. It works slightly slower, I would say, but still works pretty reliable. And the good thing is, if we go back into the settings, you have a lot of options here in Switcher. Anyways, you have, you can change the content, you can, you can pin some apps. You can practically optimize, opti um, customize everything, show app name, the opacity, you can make it show side, but because there's a different solution also, there is an option, if you take it off, and you can see you can swipe like on Windows 8 and change through the apps, as you can see. This is, it works reliable, but I don't think this is really the fastest solution available, and it's also an option. I would prefer just to swipe to see all the apps. The good thing also is you get here the buttons. So you could actually get rid of all the buttons on your window on your Android device. 
back is their home and the recent apps so or i think this is the kill all button so what else do you need you can multitask and you have still access and you would have a full screen experience there are a lot of options like kill apps back and home and you can customize it pretty well so in overall this is also a pretty nice solution the one i used for the longest time though was called arc what arc does you swipe it looks a bit weird now since I have so many, usually I would only have six and they would be bigger, but I will show you later why it's right now like this, but it's the same. You just drag over it and you enter the app. This is practically always the same thing. It works pretty reliable. It could maybe open sometimes a bit faster, but cause as you can see, if I do it really fast, it didn't see the swipe. I have to do it a bit slower to actually access it. I would like it if it would even go with this speed, what it doesn't. But that's only a, small, small, a smaller complaint, but after all, let's get back into the app. And now I want to show you the last style, which is actually the newest one. And I'm using an alpha, which came right out today. So maybe it isn't 100% stable, but so far I had only one for fourth close. Not the biggest problem. You also have the options for the home and the back button. And what grid does is following. You swipe up, same as arc. But now you have all the apps in a grid and you can practically do the same thing. You go over it and the app launches. As you can see, like I said, it sometimes does a focus. What it does, if you hold it for longer, do a long click, the app actually gets killed. You still see it, but the app is dead because you notice now it reloaded the page. So it did actually kill the site. On Arc, you just have to swipe over it. If you are in, in Arc and just swipe over, then you will kill the app. Right now, I really like this solution very much. But if you let like you can see, I hold this device not. I, I don't hold this device right now. It's on my table. If I would use it one-handed, it would be pretty hard to stretch up to the middle. So I would like to have an option. I already contacted the developer to have this if you if it limited because you can have it unlimited and it, or the whole screen will be full of apps. But I limited it to ten. I don't have ten right open right now, and I would have this right at the bottom if it's possible. The good thing also though is, as you can see, you have the home button with the swipe and the back button. So this means you also get the option right now to get rid of your buttons. You have the home button, what you need, and you have the back button. And otherwise you can jump through the apps like this still. So in overall, I would say right now, the fastest solution I would say is OmniSwitch, as you can see, because it opens the quickest. But for me, the most comfortable one is the swipe and then just to go over the app. So right now, Grip is my favorite. Arc was the before, but if, if Grid gets a little bit of optimization, it will be Grid. Otherwise, maybe I will get back to Arc, but right now I like Arc. I also like Slim Reasons. It is a pretty easy and minimalistic, but very effective solution. And personally for me, most of the ones, except of maybe the slide and something like that. But I would say OmniSwitch is superior to the stock version. Re uh, Slim Reasons is. And at least the latest two I showed you on Switcher are also. But of course, you have to decide for yourself which you prefer. This is just an example. Maybe you like one of them or not. Let me know which one you prefer or if you have any different because there are so many different versions. I know there is Swipad and a lot of ones, but I had to pick a few of them just to show you them. So if you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up, reshare this video and subscribe to my channel. Okay, bye. I'll be back.